Here we go, we're gonna do the first part of our process of getting this wax clean for the missus. As you can see, it's pretty crappy, because this isn't, like, this is actually just the brood comb and a bit of shit that was left in the bottom of a couple of boxes. So I thought we gotta, we gotta do a bit of primitive cleaning before we get to our cool new wax melter, so, because I don't think this is quite up to speed. So we're just gonna warm it up in the kettle, and then we're either, I don't know, we're either gonna tip it through a hessian sack, or we're just gonna let it settle out and get a disc and scrape it off. I haven't really decided yet. Depends how motivated I get. We're gonna put the wax in the saucepan, and then we're gonna put a little bit of water in the saucepan, or are we gonna put some water in the saucepan before the wax? I think we'll put some water in the saucepan, and then we'll put the wax in there, and then we'll warm it all up, and then it'll separate out, and then we'll be able to go to the next stage. So, oh, by the way, this isn't demineralized water, this is just normal rainwater, it's just I can't find a bucket. So, I think I think the buckets are in with the puppies. So we had a, our boxers had some lovely little puppies, and so you've got to give separate her off, and so she's got a few buckets of water in there to keep her happy, so she can keep her babies happy. All right, just get this out of the way. Oh, bloody hell, the floor's a long way away. It's getting further away every year, the floor. Oh, goodness me. Oh, that's heavy. Right, so I reckon she's gonna drop that in there. This is this is only a little bit of that. We've done some more earlier, so this is the bit that didn't fit in the first meltdown, which was lucky for you guys, because you get to see it. Oh, if I can get it out of the pot. Good God. Yum. Hang on. That's a bit bloody messy, isn't it? <laughs> God, that'd be different, wouldn't it? There's still a fair bit of honey in this, like in this actual comb. Most of the time you get it out a lot better, but of course it's cooling off here in the Riverland, so it hasn't really drained out so well. But that's all right, it won't matter. We'll make some meat out of the bottom out of the honey that's underneath the wax. If we can get it out of this pot, mind you. What have I got here? Let's see if I can get a sh Here we go. Oh, the dear wife's bloody spatula from the kitchen again. Goodness gracious. Never mind stealing her bloody tools. Now I'm stealing her kitchen equipment. Jesus, I tell you what. And the thing is, I can't even get away with this shit. I used to be able to get away with this crap, but now that it's all filmed, she goes, hey, hey, that's where that is. <laughs> oh God, the things you do, just so as you can get entertained out there. Just think of me when I'm getting growled at. <laughs> mm. There we go. Oh, come on, you can do it, you can do it, Duffy Moon. God, <laughs> this is much easier when it's warm. Oh, God. Yuck. Oh, come out of there. Oh, God. Grief. Why doesn't that want to come out of there? I think we should have done this in the afternoon instead of in the morning. It's a bit stiff. <sighs> I've got a big lump going on here now. Oh, my Lord. It's a big lump. Bunch of waxy, booey, comfy, lucky, yummy muck. Whoa. Bloody hell. The trouble a bloke goes through to make a candle. God damn it. <laughs> Mind you, I wouldn't know how to make a candle. I'm just trying to get the stuff ready for the candle making person. Oh, look at this, yuck. I reckon we're gonna make some, we're gonna use the base of this though, when it's warm to dissolve that honey. And then we'll, oh, shit, make that into some mead. Oh, let's go. Then we might even just have some wine. Right, yeah. I reckon that's looking pretty bloody good for what we're up to. Sorry, darling. God, look at that. She's not going to want that back anyway, is she now? Jesus. Oh, fucking hell. Rightio, I'm going to just go and wash my hands before I put my stove on because, yeah, if I get that all on me knobs, that wouldn't do all good. Stove knobs, that is, thank you very much. <laughs> By the way, if you're wondering, this isn't actually the kitchen. Because people have commented and said, how cool is that? You've got a barbie in your kitchen. It's not technically the kitchen. This is just an outdoor area that is a little less outdoor than it used to be. Because it's sort of, I got a little bit carried away and found an old window and some old doors and some old bits and pieces. And sort of made a an indoor-outdoor area. Because it's kind of weird. So now I've got an area that's sort of outdoor kitchen. 
Anyway, I don't know. And I went to all this trouble. You wouldn't believe it. I went to all this trouble to build all of this cool stuff because I wanted a, I wanted a fireplace in the house. And the wife said, you're not bloody having a fireplace in the house. I'm not having dirt and shit through everything. So I actually went and built myself a fireplace so I could sit and have a port in the fire, which is kind of groovy so, or stupid. I don't know. But anyway, that's why I've, that's why I've got to have a hobby because I do dumb shit when I'm bored. <laughs> but it was cool. It even worked, which was pretty impressive. <laughs> One day we'll light the thing up and we can sit around and have a drink together. We'll just let that do its thing for a minute while we get some other stuff organised. Give it a little stir. You don't want it too hot, otherwise you'll freak it out. So then this will separate. The wax will come to the... Well, actually, the light crap will come to the top. The wax will be in the middle and then there'll be the honey at the bottom and then there'll be another layer of other populacy muck at the bottom of the disc of wax when we're finished with that. And then we'll, that'll be like the first part of the process, which will be cool. I will see what happens. It looks like our wax is nearly ready to get organised. We've had a few different goes at trying to clean this stuff up. We've had a little, with our little strainers and our little buckets and tipping shit through there. But this little bit, we're going to try and stick through an old um, sandbag. So I thought, we'll try and... Yeah. It's only just the first straining, so we don't have to be too I mean, particular because it'll be a mess anyway. So I thought if we hook this bag over the box here or something, I might roll it up a bit because I don't want it dangling in the liquid. And we'll just gently tip it through the bag into the bigger container and then the wax will settle out on the top. All oh, the crap will stay in here and the wax will settle on top of the honey liquid. And we'll just make a decision what we're going to do with the honey liquid afterwards. So I'm just going to staple it to me little one of my little newt boxes on top of me hive catching box. <laughs> That'd be recycling gone mad, isn't it? Anyway, what the hell? We've got to make every, make every bit count. Don't staple your finger. Oh crap, that'd be crap, wouldn't it? <laughs> Probably a fraction low, but it's, I think that's going to be alright. Uh, tell me, are we gonna, can we pull it up a bit, you think? No, maybe we should go like that. What do you reckon? Oh, shit! <laughs> ah, that'd be right now, I've got stuck. Yeah, look at that. That's a bit of excitement. Whew. I don't know. What's the worst thing that can happen anyway? I reckon we'll just take this little high-tech apparatus out of the shed and out onto the track and hopefully my trusty cameraman with these muscles can help me tip it through here and we'll see what happens. I reckon around about here will be about as good a spot as any. So we stick that there, stick our bag on top of there. Then we're just going to get the saucepan and tip the muck through there and see what happens. Like I say, what's the worst thing that can happen? We get burnt, that's probably the worst thing that would happen. <laughs> anyway, we'll see what happens, eh? We're going to tip it through here and we'll collect our first bit of cleaning up. We got some bees coming around for a bit of a visit. They didn't take them long. They must be able to smell the honey in this. I'll just give it a little stir. <laughs> Scrape a little bit of stuff off the edge of the hessian. Get the last bit in. I think that worked pretty good. Oh my lord. We've been away for five seconds and the girls have gone off tap here. Let them go. They're like, have a look at this lot. We've got some free food. Woo! So we'll just take our little top bit off. As you can see, the ladies are still having a bit of a feed here. They're getting a bit excited, helping tidy up the rest. Well, I think this bag's probably going in the bin. Although, that could be, um, maybe that's going to be the fire lighter. What's that song? I'm a fire lighter. How did that go? No, you don't. I've tried that joke before and you don't even remember the song, do you? Uh. John was trying to tell me it was from some church camp he dragged along to him as a kid. <laughs> Rightio, so we're just going to give the pot a bounce to let the ladies bugger off because they're having a bit of excitement here. So we don't really want them to come with us. Oh, that's heavy. Whoop, whoop, whoop. <laughs> oh, 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 that's my head, that's my head. Don't do it, don't do it. Oh. Crikey. <laughs> 
<laughs> that's a, that's the what's that? <laughs> what's that bloke? No, I shouldn't even make a joke about that. That poor bastard got stung by a stingray. Cool. So we're just going to get this little bit of wax out of the top of this pot, which is what we're going to use to put in the wax cleaner next. So this is basically the pre, pre cleaning pre. No, I don't know the pre pre cleaning. <laughs> so anyway, this is just so you can start the. It's a proven arduous task to get this wax ready for everybody. Get off! Don't sting me. Oh, golly! I'm trying not to get them trapped. Ow! This is not ideal, but anyway, it's a good start. Get them off of there. Oh shit! <laughs> that wasn't good. Don't run up me sleeve, you little sod. So there's a layer, layer of the um, other populus, populus. We've got all the, because when we put it through the bag, as you saw earlier, we stuck it through the bag, which got all the large stuff off. This would have been floating on the top. And then this is the other bit that settles underneath. Oh, and you just want to scrape that out of there. And you kind of want to do that when it's warm like this, because the longer you leave it, the harder it gets. So that's why we're out here dancing with the girls. Probably don't really want to drop it in my honey pot because that's technically that's why the bees are all hovering around this. They don't really give a toss about the wax, but they can um, you know they're after that sweet taste of that honey water down there. So that's that's what they're doing. Actually, I read a really interesting thing. I was reading a book about the bees, and they reckon that there's actually which would make sense because there's nurse bees and there's um, you know foraging bees and there's the obviously the silly blooming drone bee who's useless unless he's um, needed. But then they were saying that there's actually specialty wax making bees. So all the bees can make wax, but there's also some that they feed a bit better diet so they can make lots of wax. So when they're breeding up, there's lots of wax making bees in the hive. So I thought that was pretty fascinating. It's got me stuffed how many people have viewed these things, but anyway, they must know because they had a viewing hive, so which is something we we're gonna organize. We're gonna get ourselves a hive so we can view the bees doing stuff. That little bit of cleaning done, so that's all good. So we're ready for the wax, yeah, the new wax melder. That's is going to be a double boiler. So we'll put all this crap in there and see whether we can get it a bit cleaner. And hopefully we get it done in one shot. Because otherwise you've got to warm this up, sun it through a sieve, and let it cool down, and scrape off more crap, and then go again. And it takes about three or four times to get it nice. So we'll see what happens. I'm hopeful anyway. <laughs> 